In this interview, we sit down with a 16-year-old girl, Shristi Mehra, to gain insight into Asian discrimination from a youth's perspective. Through candid and thoughtful discussion, we delve into personal experiences, observations, and the ways in which young individuals are addressing Asian discrimination in their communities. Hello, Shristi. Hello. To begin, the first question I would like to ask you is, have you heard about the Stop Asian Hate movement before? I mean, every time an incident or something like that happens where uh, discrimination or Asians are discriminated, you see on social media there are hashtags against it. There are people speaking up, voicing up and sharing their experiences. But usually it dies down after a few months and no one like does something about it. It just happens for a few months and it just goes. So yeah, it does happen a lot, but it does it has no impact usually most of the time. In your view... How can young people be uh, be effective allies in the fight against Asian hate? I think young people play the most pivotal part because uh, changing opinions is the first step towards uh, stopping the hatred. Because to stop discrimination, you have to first treat everyone equally. And for that, the young youth, they need to uh, try and change opinions of people who are still who still think uh, that certain communities do not deserve a certain amount of respect and uh, they you know, the young people it's easier for them to fight stereotypes and stand against stereotypes compared to the, the older ones and it's always easier for them to influence people so yeah they play a huge part in changing uh, people's opinions about Asians and just discrimination in general yes i completely agree Yes. Have you encountered any resources or organizations that focus on combating Asian hate or promoting diversity and inclusion? If so, how did you come across them and what impact have they had on you? Not directly. No, I haven't come across. There are many organizations that work under uh, that work in many aspects and this working towards discrimination is a part of that. There have been many movements uh, in the past, though, that solely focus on stopping Asian hate and discrimination against Asians. And the impact is usually it helps spread awareness, because even if you see right now, Asian Asia itself is a very diverse continent. And people aren't aware about that. Like pe- when you say Asians, people think of Chinese, people think of Koreans. But no one considers and takes into opinion like the, that South Asians are in, come under the Asians. Russians are also Asians, most of them, the majority of them. So um, movements like this, the main impact they have is they help spread awareness uh, uh, about uh, just culture and tradition. And the more the awareness, the less the stereotyping and there'll be less of discrimination when people are more aware about a certain matter. So it, it's important to actually have organizations that solely focus on Asian discrimination or discrimination like that in general, because um, they will help spread awareness about the issues that currently occur when you see Asians traveling in other parts of the country, especially in continents such as the Americas or like or Europe. Very well said, Shishti. Um, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.